So, hello and good afternoon. I welcome you to today's Trading Spotlight Hot Topic webinar. Um, together with Admirals, it's Wednesday, it's the 25th of May, 2022. And today we want to focus on the differences between pros and amateurs and here on the second part. So two weeks ago, we uh, had a look at the um, first part or the first five differences between pros and amateurs. And um, here in this context, um, um, we mentioned several several um, very important aspects. Let me just uh, let me just um, um, uh, um, um, go through the presentation first. I, I have to I have to to look them up once again to not um, um, miss one. So I was sure that there was discipline, but there was also patience, self confidence, self dependence, and being humble. And um, being humble uh, brings us nearly quite straightforward to the first point of today's um, um, uh, list here. And um, we will go through this list in detail. I will give you some, um, not just, not just um, 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 thoughts, but also some examples based on, on my personal trading, um, on my personal experiences in the world of trading, the people I came across over the years. Um, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the upcoming minutes. If you watch the recording now on YouTube, please uh, feel free to leave a thumb up here if you like what you will see. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, set a reminder so that you don't miss any of the videos which we are producing for you, um, especially my colleagues, Paul and Marcus, um, also me for sure. And um, yeah, let me, let me just share my screen here. And then uh, let's have a look here at the first slides. Let me first introduce to you probably Admirals. Yeah, I think most likely you will um, have um, registered via the website. So you probably already uh, know who Admirals is, the broker who is um, in this industry now for over 20 years and um, offers over 8,000 financial instruments, um, global presence. Uh, with support on local uh, local languages, so um, which is very important. Um, besides, certainly the fact that um, it's a fully regulated and licensed broker by the SISEC FCA in the UK, um, ASIC in Australia, um, also uh, the um, 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 financial authority in Jordan overseeing the webs, um, um, the, not just the website but also the the business, um, which is probably of interest for some of you. So if you're interested here and in further details, check out the website at mymarkets.com. But coming back to the global presence and uh, the support in local languages, very important. Um, because I'm um, initially when I started out in the world of, of finance, I was a trainee with a bank, and um, sometimes we had an um, international um, 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 audience, let's say, so people from all over the world um, um, having questions, financial related questions, and um, what was very interesting to see was that um, uh, they they usually um, were more open um, and 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 um, not just more open, but also more willing to talk about their uh, financial needs when they talk to someone in their native language. So this builds a higher level of trust in this context. And that's probably one big plus besides certainly competitive spreads um, and very low commissions, fractional shares trading being offered and so on and so forth. But um, if you talk to someone in your native language, then most likely you will feel just, um, yeah, just, just um, 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 more, um, 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 safe, let's say, or yeah, probably that's a, that's a, that's a nice word to say in this context. And uh, given the fact that um, Admirals has offices around the globe, chances are very high that you can talk to someone in your native language. And um, so one world, one broker, um, that's, that's, the, that's the slogan behind this with all the um, financial entities um, being here um, or offices around the globe being pointed out. And um, but let's jump into today's agenda and have a look here at I said um, at the beginning in, during the introduction. I'm um, staying humble. There's hard work usually um, uh, when it when it comes to trading. So traders, especially successful professional traders in this context, um, and those really um, um, who want to make a living, so trade professionally, um, are hardworking. Uh, some uh, very interesting aspect, um, um, which uh, Paul and I during our discussion last week on on, on uh, Friday pointed out too. So because um, we we always smile a little when you when you see um, pictures on social media with 
with uh, these young guns um, who are so successful with their trading and promote their, I don't know, services, um, their, their signal prov provision, uh, their, their education, their way of how they, they um, um, trade the markets every day and, and share their strategies. You only have to click this link and um, um, just leave something like, I don't know, 1,000 euros or so, and then they, you will get all the education and have this great lifestyle with uh, flying a helicopter around the globe and uh, a great Ferrari. Um, and uh, in, in the case of us guys, especially um, uh, the most beautiful women um, you will be surrounded by. Um, yeah, well, what should we say? Uh, that's it's um, it looks fancy, but it has nothing to do with um, professional traders. I never met one um, who was uh, um, not just very humble, uh, but also who um, put in or who could could be the, considered the, the the hardest worker in the room, really. Um, and this is definitely um, a trait of a, of a professional trader, um, where you will really quickly spot that um, um, these are usually the guys you should follow or you should listen to. Um, and usually these guys don't have time to um, 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 really then focus on 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 not just not education, but but on coaching, especially. So some traders um, have the time, but um, usually it's uh, it's a very very limited um, 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 time slot here in this context. We really um um where where, where um you you have a targeted and focused um really um uh, coaching taking place then um and and which you should um, optimally and most efficiently use then in fact because uh it's um, um a rare moment when they really have time um um beside their trading activity in fact um it's also honesty uh it's um having a trading journal so quickly written down here um this is usually something which um i especially point out over and over and over again why this is the case this is something we will dig into um, um here during this this webinar um and probably something you should really take out of this um not just to say okay yes um so there's a difference between professional traders and amateur traders especially the professional ones um obviously have a, have a trading journal okay nice check um so i will make sure that i i document my trading but it's not just not just saying okay this is where i entered this is where i exit and but it's more than that it's like really writing down what was the strategy you traded here um so what's the current market environment how do you feel um, um, um what, what's your what's your what's your mental state right now uh, did you sleep well so really like having a journal here and writing down your feelings your thoughts um your whole process your whole um situation in this context and then um tag it to some extent um say i slept well today that was an a setup and didn't take it from there and really seeing um if you perform at your highest possible level you have lots of checks in your favor and if you are not performing at your highest possible level it's not just that you do not have that many checks in your favor but that in addition to that you're also underperforming in terms of um p and l then uh, and while, while this should be um, um self-explaining um, it's definitely something many, many traders um, skip this this um, very important step here in this context and definitely something to um, uh, keep an eye on. So then letting winners run cut loser short. So being capable of especially um, fight cognitive dissonances in this case. So this is some. Um, uh, something we could sum up as loss aversion, what this is, and so on and so forth. Also, when uh, we have this bullet point and then here on the screen and having a trading routine. There's also something we already ran through. <clears throat> having a clear routine you follow by every day in that and then in and then day out here in this context. Yeah. And um, so let's now jump into the action because else I fear that I, I don't um, uh, I'm not able to 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 put all the input here um, in the upcoming minutes. And um, let's continue from uh, part one here with the um, sixth trait of a professional trader um, and a main difference between um, the, the the professionals and, and amateurs in trading. So as I already pointed out, successful traders are hardworking. Um, so successful traders hardworking um, means that they improve their trading approach and also their mindset over and over again. And they do everything possible to really stay um, um, ahead of the game and, 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 and really focus on what works for them, respectively continue to work on improving and growing in this context. Um, so uh, 
especially when it comes to the right mindset, that's the point I um, um, have here. Um, and, and mental stability is, is something which is um, very tough and, and can also be very exhausting. And um, usually in my case, um, I... I work with uh, meditation and visualization practices here. And there's there's lots of opportunity um, um, there where you can um, already start um, and have a have a, a good starting point in this context. So it's not that you need a mental health coach or something or um, 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 someone you can meditate with or so. Um, it's There's so many opportunities. Like, uh, for example, um, there's a, um, an app you can download on your smartphone. It's called Headspace. Um, Headspace, uh, you, you can just check out the website, headspace.com and on the website here you um, um have the chance to what is it like i don't know eight euros ten euros a month or so um and it's like um it's a it's it's a it's a program you go through or it's it's like a course um it's a it's a um, um recurring um 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 how can i say um um 10, 15, 20 minutes um, um, slot each day um, where you can meditate, visualize and, and learn how to meditate and really find uh, not just your right mindset, but also um, make sure uh, that there's some, um, um, some let's say, hat space um, um, available, being made available and that you really clear your mind. Um, so that's the first step. Um, and then there's like um, um, washing away stress, we could say, um, also like um, that, that sounds a little, um, I don't know, es esoteric. So something like that. Um, it's like, um, it just, just imagine there's a, there's a, um, um, uh, there's, there, there's a, there's a, um, 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 bottle. No, I'm not really sure if it's a bottle, but it's like, it's, it's warm sunlight flowing into your head and then um, flowing through your body and washing away the stress. So that sounds a little weird, but it's definitely something uh, you should look into and, and which could really make a difference because um, as, as you might have found out yourself already, it's like, um, uh, it's like, how can I say? It's, 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 it's a very exhausting, respectively. There's lots of stress and lots of emotions involved and really stay calm, stay in your zone. It's, it's, it's a key element here when it comes to trading. Now you might wonder, okay, we're talking about um, letting uh, or imagine um, warm sunlight um, washing away your, your, your stress. Uh, so what has this to do with hard working? Well, you have to do this over and over again when it comes to mental stability. You really have to find out where are my weakness, weaknesses, where, where are my weak spots and then work on them continuously. Um, and this is also something, for example, um, which, is, which is important when it comes to writing down um, your trading each day. So you will find this out yourself. So yesterday, for example, I, I had a guy um, who um, traded the open in a snap in the stock, and which was very, very hot yesterday, which is also very hot today, as I've, if, if, if I've seen that right, it's more than 3 million shares already being traded. So very hot after they lowered their guidance um, within the quarter. Um, after three weeks, they gave out a guidance, which was kind of good, let's say, three weeks ago at the end of April, um, and, and the uh, stock sold off. And then we saw a flush already into the open. And um, so we were, we were formulating game planning for the short side, and this guy um, traded very successfully and, and snapped and, and then just called it a day. So he said um, he wasn't really looking for what could now be my next play or something like that, which is completely fine, by the way. So um, um, uh, this is, this is um, nothing um, which is negative at all. But um, it was surprising because that um, so somehow it, it made the impression that um, he made a profit, one point or something like scalp for, for $1 on the downside. Um, and, and that within, let's say, the 30, 45 one hour into the trading day and then just calling it a day and then saying, I'm, I'm, I'm out. So not really like I'm um, writing down or making the impression of writing it down. I haven't talked further with him on this, but um, that something which, which I came across over the years, over and over again, that, that people in the morning, they don't prepare for the day, but also that they do not um, um, review their trades, respectively, they tweak um, on what could I have done better today, for example. So um, did I, did I size correctly? Was it the right Right position size. Um, what's the matter with me? Why didn't I size correctly? Why was I too small? Why was I too big? Um, what, what's the reason for that? All this, like writing it down, not just right on the trade day of the um, 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 trade, but also then reviewing, especially once once you had a bad week. And I could imagine, especially right now with the market environment, I'm um, really looking not that 
promising anymore. Um, with with especially tech stocks selling off, with with crypto coming down, um, <clears throat> even if you had a let's say mixed week, um, um, and 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 but still watching your long term portfolio and seeing it deep in the red, let's say, um, this is really exhausting. And and over the weekend you just don't want to put in the extra hours here and review your trading. You just don't want to do this. It's like, and it's completely understandable, but this is, um, this is, this is the, the big difference between the professional and between the amateur. So the professional sits down at the weekend, writing down what went good, where do I need to improve? Um, why didn't I perform well? And, and going through the pain once again, reviewing the trade, visualizing the trade once again, um, I'm seeing all the mistakes you made writing it down, not just, and then calling it um, a week then, but then also writing down some points on where do I find spots um, in the next week? What, what, what fits my overall um, um, strategy portfolio here, my, my playbook. So um, um, what, what patterns can I spot already now? Which are the earnings next week, for example, in terms of trading stocks, um, um, which I could look into. So all this, it's like, it's, it's really hard work and, and, and really exhausting. Um, and it's a continuous process. So it, it's just that you can certainly take a week, two, three, whatever off, depending on, on your personal um, 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 living situation. But still, you you really um, um, you don't switch off, let's say, the trading lights. It's like you, you stay in, in, in the game and you continue as a professional, continue to work every day over and over again on, on tweaking um, um, your, your, um, 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 your performance and, and, and really try to improve. So in my case, it's not just that I meditate every day and I take the time for that because I know it's something I, I, I profit from. But in addition to that, it's also that I say, well, um, there's, for example, not just this, this, this um, um, meditation visualization, but it's also like I have to improve my cognitive strengths, for example. So put in this um, into perspective, just imagine if you see um, someone actively trading. So um, and, and, and let, let's, let, let's just imagine we have a live trading event. So we, we um, do a live trading around the market opening and um, we are scalping, let's say, whatever stock. And um, I, I really give you action. Um, now I scalp the order book. And um, the thing is, I will not perform well. I already know this. Why? Because um, with other um, tools I use to find out my cognitive strengths, for example, I know that I only perform well and I'm capable of really performing at my highest possible level if I'm in my zone, fully focused um, on what's happening in the chart. And then I'm, I'm also very easily um, capable of executing um, um, nearly in an automatic fashion, let's say. And also knowing what I, what I do and, 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 and I just perform, I just execute here. Um, if I'm not in my zone, so like um, if, I'm, if, I'm, um, if I have to talk to, let's say, you as the audience, and you certainly want to know what I'm doing here, I can't perform well. I, I can't execute at my highest possible level. I'm still capable of, of, of like analyzing the situation and knowing what I'm doing. So it, it's, not, it, it's not that I, that I completely um, 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 lose focus when it comes to trading setups or something like that, or I can't execute and can't push the button, but I can't execute on, on the highest possible and fastest level if I have to talk to someone else. I think this is something you could easily understand. And I'm capable of finding this out by continuously working on um, my cognitive strengths here with other little games I play, for example, to make sure to understand me better, to see where I perform well, and then also reviewing my performance in these games. So for example, there's some uh, an, uh, another, another um, uh, app. It's called Brain HQ. Wait, wait, let me just check out here. Okay, okay, everything cool. Um, so, and um, Brain HQ delivers an opportunity to really find out where are my cognitive strengths. So, where is um, um, where 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 are my 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 where do I perform well, and how can I really get better there? Um, respectively, also realizing where I don't perform well. What's something I really can do and even if i put in lots of hard work i can really improve to a level to perform um, at a top top and highest um, performing level so that being said 
um, um, shows where hard work comes into play and, and, and what I mean by that. It's not just focusing and, and trying to be mentally stable and overcome the pain which is involved when trading and especially when finding yourself in a losing streak, but also when it comes to continuously improve, find out where do I perform good, where do I have to um, um, work harder to, to, to um, improve, um, and where just I have to... to, to take a step back from because I just don't work well in this environment or under these conditions or within my cognitive strength and, and the, the, um, 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 uh, yeah, within the area, I just um, find myself in as a human being, let's say. That being said, delivers the next um, successful uh, character trait here when it comes to professional traders um, and the difference um, um, here between professionals and amateurs. It's, um, Successful traders are very honest to themselves. So, and first of all, it's that honesty is the only way really to improve your trading. Um, because if you if you say, well, the reason why I got stopped or had this big losing day uh, was because um, this and that announcement was um, made from this and that central banker or um, 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 in case of, let's say, like um, um, now letting your, your tech portfolio completely um, 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 getting, getting um, 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 deep into the red and not cutting losing trades short and just um, adapt it to the um, overall environment saying, well, everyone is um, sucking right now and not performing well. And not just that, it's not just that everyone is, is perform or underperforming, but in addition that um, everyone has, has trouble right now because of um, rising inflation and the central bankers are not doing their job. And, Great, we can discuss about this, but this won't bring you anywhere when it comes to your trading. It's just you. It's, it's, it's being honest with yourself. And if there's um, a losing position getting out of control, let's say, well, it's because you uh, made a mistake. You didn't cut the losing trade short. That's also a point we will focus on um, for whatever reason, whatever is the psychological reason for that. But it's like you made a mistake and you need to look in the mirror and tell yourself, okay, I made a mistake. It's my fault that this and that happened. You must be 100% honest with yourself and then take it from there. Um, and uh, in case of, of um, successful professional traders, it's um, they are 100% self-dependent because they know um, everything they, they will achieve in the market is 100% on them and everything they underperform and money they lose and so on and so forth, they're 100% um, 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 responsible for that too. So the thing is, once you start to lie to yourself, and tell yourself uh, that there was someone else who is responsible for your underperformance or why you did this and that mistake. Um, that means nothing more than in the long run. Short term, it might be probably um, 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 not necessarily helpful, but short term, you might probably say, okay, well, cool. Um, well, yes, um, but short term, well, I'm fine with that. So lying to myself, I'm, it's like like pyramiding into a losing position, for example, it might pay out probably more often. But then there's one occasion when you really when you really pay the bill for for your bad behavior in this case. And uh, this means that will cost you in the long run once you lie to yourself a lot of money. Um, and so to achieve um, the, the highest level of honesty and objectivity, successful traders really, um, what they do is they, they regular, rigorously and accurately document their trading in a, in a trading journal um, um, here and um, attract their, their overall expectancy. So do I perform at my highest possible level? And does this um, um, performance correspond with the positive expected value? So is it, is, is, are these decisions, if I take them over and over again, long-term profitable? Um, and that being said, it's very interesting because honesty and, and, and trading journal in this case, um, so this is the next slide, we can already um, 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 bring this up here. Um, the, the interesting thing is I once talked to a trading psychologist and asked him, what's the reason? What, what, what do you think? Um, what is the reason why um, traders 
not especially those who are not successful, not making money. Obviously, they they, they can see that. What do you think is the reason why um, they are so hesitant in terms of writing down their trading and document in, in a good way, or in a good and a solid way, so they can work with and can, can build on and improve them on? What what do you think is the reason for that? And um, the answer was was very very fascinating because it makes perfect sense. He said, well. Um, they don't write it down because as long as you don't write it down, it's the same as, as not closing out the losing position. Um, it's, uh, well, it's not, it, it's not realized, right? So the, the moment you, you write something down and you realize that you're making a mistake over and over again, um, you, 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 you can see it. It's like, like it, it, it's, it's, it's smiling you straight into the face. And um, then you have to do something about this, else you can't argue. You can't you can, you can, you can, um, 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 argue that you, you weren't aware of that. If you don't write it down, it's not a problem. It may be a problem in your, in your head, and you might have already realized that it's a problem, but it's um, something which is not real. But in the moment you write it down, Everyone can see that. And by the way, now uh, trading journal, um, since, since, um, um, since I, I, I will focus on, on the US equities after we finish this webinar here, um, let me just uh, check out here some stats um, I have to write down to review my trading afterwards, to be capable. So this is a pure technical aspect. I did this over and over again. Um, and, and, and people, in fact, asked me several times um, why I have to write all, down all these all these um, uh, data. By the way, let me just check. Oh, that's interesting. This is this is fascinating. Okay, cool. Um, so Snap is right now trading around thirteen, and already with over four million shares being traded. So very very hot stock. Sold off yesterday. Could imagine that um, the region around. Um, that around the region around um, um, 13 to 1350. So right now the, the region we are opening against, if people are over here and the drop below VWAP and then, then hold below there, that this is then um, um, a clear sign of um, further selling pressure, which could, well, if the overall market continues to, to be weak, then probably we, we are headed for, for 10, 10 USD a share. Um, and beside that, there's also potential breakout um, in Zoom. But Zoom, I haven't seen it here in my watch list. No, it's not there. So Zoom doesn't seem to be hot at all today. Let me just... So can you hear me now again? Okay, now I'm back. So what was the last word you you um you heard? So not sure what what happened, why um the 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 mic was was um on mute. But what was the last thing you heard? <laughs> um when when so 28 so something like 30 seconds or so. So did, did I already talk about um, what I'm writing down now? So it's Zoom. Oh, Zoom. Okay. So, okay. That's perfect. So you heard everything I said about Snap and, and potential on the downside down to, to $10. Um, so yeah, in case of, of Zoom, um, so the, the, the video communication that we are using here right now. Um, so they, they um, had quite strong earnings, in my personal opinion. They were quite, quite strong. And then um, the, the, the stock initially flushed down yesterday when, um, when we opened with the overall market, but then rebounded quite strongly. It didn't make it above 96. 96 is a very interesting level because if you look at the chart from a longer term perspective, you will see that it's a quite um, um, strong resistance zone. And um, now, well, in fact, we, we really come here to, uh, to, the, to the presentation and this, this point around the trading journal. So what I know is um, what I want to see based on how I performed in the past um, in such setups if they occurred. So if I see a breakout happening 
above a certain level, for example, I say, well, um, then I, I want to see a certain development, let's say, in the tape. I want to see um, um, buyers stepping in or let's say the bids step up while um, we also see offers lifting slash it's not just offers lifting. It's more like um, they're really absorbed. So there's lots of buying against these levels, big, big um, 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 offers showing uh, on the tape and they are just absorbed. They, they just get hit and hit and hit and hit and hit. And then we see the break higher. It's not just in that we see a break higher, but also in addition to that, that you see um, the buyer step up then, the bid step up and holding the breakout region around 96 um, in this case. Um, so, so for Zoom, for example. And um, so certainly I also need a kind of a catalyst, earnings yesterday or respectively earnings already on, uh, today is Wednesday, Monday um, after hours, um, strong earnings in this context and um, overall holding up well. So when we when you looked at the, at the market overall yesterday, probably you've seen that it wasn't that strong and that we then saw um, um, Zoom um, closing strong with a plus 5%. And um, that being said, it's something, um, well, you just know that. Coming back to the presentation here, um, all the details I now delivered, um, without having a chart open, I know this because I write it down and I, I visualize this before. I game plan what I want to see. But I can only do this if I really know what I'm looking for and if I know if what I did in the past worked out well. Beside then that you see you have a rising equity curve, this is your hit rate, and this is um, um, the risk reward you need to, to trade profitably based on your hit rate and all that in and out, and what needs to be um, um, given in terms of your mental um, 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 situation, like mental stability and so on and so forth. And that being said, um, it's something um, which, which is so important, uh, and, and so many fail to, to, to do this in their trading, most likely, after I'm um, um, giving this as an introduction here, after talking to the trading psychologist um, um, on, on this, um, the, he said, well, once you write it down, you're responsible for not doing it because you know um, it doesn't work. What you're doing is it's not working. And um, so the thing now is that this is um, one thing. If, if you take out anything of this presentation here uh, for, for your trading career. If you watch the recording now on YouTube, if, if, um, if, if you watch this now live, um, if there's one thing you take with you out of this presentation, it's have a trading journal, write down. It's not just write down your trades. This can be, this can be really like, um, yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not a fun job. Let's put it that way. But there are so many great opportunities. So if you, for example, have the um, MetaTrader um, um, M5 downloaded, um, on the website from Admirals, you find the so-called Supreme Edition. You can download it. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, 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 a trading package, probably. So the mini terminal and so on and so forth. Um, and within this, this package, the Supreme add-on, you can, again, download for free. You have um, um, a, a trading journal included. So there is some um, 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 a way. So there's a website, fxblue.com. There you can also um, um, enter your, your credentials, um, um, a read-only access to your account, which then tracks more detail, in even more detail, um, what you do, all your trades are, are being tracked then. Um, but the Supreme add-on, for example, does this already in a, let's say, basic version. Um, so... All your trades are being tracked. You don't need to, to um, um, write them down yourself by hand and all the time it takes. But in addition to that, um, by having then all these, uh, these data, also make sure that you have a personal trading journal where you can write down something by hand, which covers your overall personal or your, your, mental, um, 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 your mental state that day. So how did you feel? Did you sleep well? Um, and, and write it down in detail. Write it down. Some of you probably might have um, some, some, some programming skills. Use Excel there. Um, and then and, and use Excel, write it down, and have keywords you're using. So for example, you have not just a strategy keyword, like I'm trading today a breakout, or I'm trading a momentum scalp, or whatever. So like um, um, that, you, that you tag your trades. But in addition to that, also have keywords when it comes to your mental um, um, situation. Like, for example, sleep, good. Sleep, not good, whatever. So um, in my zone, focused on the market, distracted, stressed. So like these keywords, really write them down and tag your trades um, based on them. And then um, you're, you're creating a filter you can then use to filter out when you're performing at your highest possible level and when you're not. 
So then you will most likely find out that if you're in your zone, if you're fully relaxed, if you're fully focused, if you trade your best setups um, based on, on your, your PNL, for example, like all momentum scalps are working well or momentum trades in direction of the overall, um, um, not just trend, but also in direction of the fundamental catalyst you might have um, 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 seen, let's say in now the breakout is occurring in, in Zoom. Fundamental catalyst is the earnings report. Um, we've seen already market um, um, after after I was um, um, after markets closed after yeah after markets closed on a Monday. It's a positive catalyst, so usually it should favor the long side, even in the current difficult environment for for tech stocks in this case. Um, if you then write all this up, um, you will you will have a clear idea of where you perform your best. But you're only capable of doing this if you write it down. If you don't write it down, you will have lots of trouble. There will be natural phases, natural um, series of, 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 of losing trades. So you will find yourself rather sooner or later in a drawdown. It's the most, most common thing in trading. It's, it's part of the game. If you want to find out how to get out of this hole, um, you have to know where you perform your best. You have to focus, for example, on, on the, let's call them low-hanging fruits. So like um, um, if, if you really perform bad and, and, and at your worst possible level, let's say, um, you shouldn't focus on trades, let's say, with um, um, high variance um, 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 outcomes, for example, swing trades, wider stops or something like that. Let's assume we are working with the stop. I think this is, um, we are talking about professional trading here. So, um, and then you say, okay, well, these are high variance setups, let's call them. Let's really focus on the low hanging fruits, the best setups I'm capable of trading reduce your trading frequency, you re reduce their trading size, and then take it from there and rebuild your self-confidence. You can't do this if you're not having a detailed trading journal, tagging your trades in a certain way, and, and really being capable of analyzing where do I perform at my highest possible level. And that's the main difference based on my personal experience when it comes to professional trading and um, um, I'm amateurs in this case. So professional traders document their trading in a detailed fashion to be capable of really attacking their trading at the right time around the in, in, in the right spots then when they don't perform um, 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 well. Because um, what they don't continue to lose here um, is what they don't need to make back to then break to new um, um, equity highs in this context. And this is also something which is, which is um, um, un misunderstood, in fact, um, um, from, from amateur traders. Like um, the money you don't lose is, is money you earned at the end of the month or at the end of the day. Um, and, and you can only focus on not losing more um, once you know where you lose the money, which you only find out if you document your trading here in this case um, um, in a detailed fashion. So then let's let's focus here on the cognitive dissonance here when it comes to to trading. Winning traders let winning traders run, cut losing traders short here. Um, I mean, it's 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 a no-brainer. Uh, you will read about this in every trading book. It doesn't even need to be a good trading book. Um, and this is usually something you read over and over again, especially from the most successful traders. They will tell you over and over again, successful trading is about letting winning trades run, cutting losing weight trades short. Um, and this is especially what professionals focus on most of the time. Amateurs really try to focus on um, short-term gains, respectively good feeling um, winning trades give you once um, um, you see it. it if they make sense from a risk reward perspective or not, it doesn't really matter. It's about the feeling, the emotion, the positive emotion um, a winning trade um, 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 gives you. And um, the reason why professional traders are so uh, focused on, on letting winning trades run, cutting them short, um, and also sit tight, let the trade develop, and not just um, jump right in when there is no reason to do so, but follow a clear preset um, um, given rules they, they defined and they know have a positive expectancy here is because they know about um, a simple formula, which is also very important when it comes to professionalism and trading. It's about the expected value. It's um, you multiply the hit rate with the average gain, and then you subtract the loss rate with the average losing trade. And if here um, the, the, the difference is greater zero, 
you have a positive expectancy, which means positive expected value, which means you're profitable with your trading. Well, in this case, certainly you have then to 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 um, 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 also um, um, take out commissions you paid and, and so on and so forth and, and cost of doing business. Like if you have a um, um, longer term approach here, holding positions overnight, working with leveraged and also reducing here um, 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 your income with, with the swap rate. If you then continue to be greater zero, um, so the net profit, it's not just the gross profit, but the net profit is positive. Well, then obviously you're making money with your trading and um, you most likely achieve that. It's not, it's not impossible to um, have a average gain, which is smaller than your average loss. Um, but most likely you will have a positive expectancy once you let winning trades run and cut losing trades short here. And um, that brings us, in fact, like th there's a usual question you might come across um, 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 over time. It's like, I, I see the point. I read about this so many times. I read the interviews in Market Wizards from Schwager, for example, um, and all the traders who are so successful um, focusing on letting winning trades run and cutting them short. But when I sit in front of a screen, it's like, what's happening with me? What's wrong with me that I have so much difficulty to let a winning trade run and cut the losing trade short? And the reason for that is because our brain plays games with us. So um, what, 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 we, what we see here is a so-called cognitive dissonance. It's like um, you um, overvalue a losing trade in terms of the negativity it, 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 it um, um, gives you. And um, you don't value a winning trade um, in the same or the, the winning trade does not have the same weight in terms of um, creating joy at your end. So, and in fact, it's, um, there's, a, um, there's, a, there's a ratio of one to two, which means like every, every, every um, um, euro you make feels like, it, or no, 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 no. Every euro you, you lose feels like two euros you lost while when making one euro, it's just one euro. So like um, the, the pain, which is connected to a losing position or a losing trade is twice as high as the joy you feel once you have a winning trade. And um, since you're a human uh, and, and you want to avoid this pain, you usually say, well, let's hope that the market will just turn around and I can take out the position at least break even. Um, which is, by the way, also one explanation why um, um, break-even trades, once you get stopped, feel like a losing trade. Because uh, it's, it's, um, uh, you, it, it's, it's the, the, the pain you see once the market moves in your direction, and the joy in this case. So market moves in your direction, breaking out to new highs, let's say, and, and you just entered um, 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 a buy position there. You see the market moving in your direction. You're probably, let's say, ahead 100 euros. And then seeing the market coming back, and, and you already trailed the stop to break even, saying, okay, I made one R, let's say, and I'm not willing to, to give back um, 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 any money at all. So I'm not willing to, to lose on a trade where I was already ahead one R. You're getting stopped. The loss is not, um, or it, there's no loss at all. It's less break even trade. But since you were ahead 100 euros, the pain um, which is connected or the, the brain creates once the market stops you out is twice as high. So it feels like you lost just 200 euros. Um, and, and, and this cognitive dissonance is the reason why we have so much trouble letting winning trades run, cutting them short, why it's so painful to see the market reverse coming back after it already moved in our direction. And it's something you, you should be aware of um, um, when it comes to your trading and something you really should be very careful about. Once this happens, um, this, this is then the moment where you start to um, um, use a practice I refer to as inducing ra rationality. Like, remember, this is a, this is a, um, um, this is a, this is a, a trick our brain is playing with us. Um, it's something which doesn't make sense in the long run. If you sit tight here, if you let the market develop, if you follow your preset rules, you will make money the long run. Just focus on executing. Don't let emotions interfere here with the overall rationality. And, and this is something also to keep in mind in terms of loss aversion and, and why um, successful traders remain um, focused on letting winning trades run, cutting them short, even though it sounds so easy, it's so, dis dis um, 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 uh, it's so, so difficult to achieve since, well, what you, what you just learned is that there's um, our brain playing games with us. And um, then uh, number 10, it's like following following a trading routine. 
Um, if someone asks me why, where, no, no. If I ask someone, um, why do you want to become a trader? So what's your, what's your motivation? Usually it's because of all the action involved and all the big money, which can be made. And uh, like, there's a new game every day. It's like, uh, there's a new catalyst and um, who could have seen that forward coming? So like, for example, when I started out the week, that was on Monday, um, it was like, okay, well, earnings calendar is quite, it's thinning out. There's certainly some interesting earnings being released today with um, um, Dix, for example, DKS. Or um, if you if you now watch um, what's coming up next, it's like um, um, Nvidia, for example. Okay, we had Zoom, but all in all, not so much big um, um, news coming out and earnings releases anymore. Then Tuesday, no, Monday, 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 um, after hours, uh, Snap comes out, lowers the guidance. And the whole social media um, 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 sector goes berserk and high volatility, lots of action, uh, great trading opportunities occurring. So, and this is exactly what we want to see, changing market conditions. You, you didn't see that coming. And that's why trading is so fascinating. The only thing is, um, if you get excited about this, then it's usually a sign that you don't have a clear clear, predefined routine you follow, respectively. Also, your strategy is probably seeing some 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 flaws and needs um, some 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 reviews because all in all um it's like excitement especially when it comes to positions you hold probably um this is something which shouldn't be um um, um trading in, in general shouldn't be exciting um and so when i talk about working with a predefined rule set respectively a um, routine following a predefined routine and the big difference between professional traders and amateur traders it's um because it's very boring what they are doing day in and day out it's like they do every step once again um every day um if, if someone looks at my daily routine especially when it comes to my trading um uh, this is the most exciting moment right now so sitting here and not focusing on the on the market opening i, I have this in my in my plan so it's no big deal and i will focus um, based on what i get delivered then now after um, um in this case 4 p.m german time in the market it's completes the different uh, rule set it's it's completely different strategy i focus on um, even though I, I i focus on the market opening as i do once sitting in front of a screen and really focusing on that by writing down um how many um, um shares were traded already pre-market and so on and so forth um but all in all i have I have a clear preset routine I follow every day, um, which includes preparation, then the trading itself, writing down the results in my trading journal, evaluating um, what went good, what didn't went good in terms of the pure trading itself from an execution perspective. And at the end, I analyze um, where I performed good, why I performed good, and also where I need to be more focused or where I, I have a chance to grow something I learned from. And then I start over again the next day by trying to include this um, 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 new learn concept, let's say. And this is taking place every day, day in, day out, day in, day out. Um, and it's really like, it's, it's not focusing on the result itself. Um, the third part here, oh, I'm sorry, by the way, I'm sorry. So I need to here, go there. Sorry, that was the next slide already. Um, but it was like, um, uh, it, it's like, how can you grow here? So this, this is a very big difference between professionals and amateurs. Amateur traders usually focus on the result and only the result. And they, they, they make their success as a trader dependent on how they performed in terms of the money they made. A professional trader is focusing on the process and, and what he can learn out of his trading beside trying to make money, which naturally follows as a byproduct of his um, right decisions he took. Um, and, and this is definitely something to, to keep in mind too. So like professional traders, this is also something we could um, sum this up here to um, professional traders um, have a, a so-called so growth mindset, while amateurs most of the time have a fixed mindset in this case. There's, by the way, also a great book on this topic and um, making this um, more clear and, and bring, give, you, give you deeper insights into this concept, which you can then use and, and um, let your overall life profit from. It's um, from, from Carol Dweck.
wreck. It's, um, I think it's mindset. I think the, the book itself is called mindset. Um, highly recommend it. It's a great, great read in this context. And then getting better each day, 1%. Um, there's another book I highly recommend. It's from James Clear. Um, it's Atomic Habits. It's another great book. Um, and um, you will you will see that that this is a good starting point, really, um, to to well learn from a broader perspective, and then use this knowledge here um, to the world of trading. How this really can make um, help you help you to make the step from becoming an amateur trader um, to the world of a professional trader, then and uh, getting the right mindset, getting into the right state. So. Summary of today's um, webinar, successful traders are hardworking. That's something we, we learned. Probably um, it's not that surprising. Probably it's surprising after all the pictures on social media um, occurred on, on, on the, the, the young guns flying helicopters. I have no helicopter. Um, I, I have a Learjet, so I'm sure. <laughs> no, that was just a joke. Um, so usually most of the traders are very hardworking. So we, we learned already in the um, presentation two weeks ago that they are very humble and um, they know where they come from and that there's lots of work um, um, being put into their, their, their success as traders. They are very honest people, especially when it comes to um, um, giving feedback to themselves. They are letting winning trades run, cutting losing trades short. And why this is so difficult, um, it's uh, because our brain is playing games with us and it's like a loss aversion here being a big topic. There's also a great book on this. Um, it's um, called Thinking Fast and Slow from um, um, Daniel Kahneman here. Also, great, great, great read. I highly recommend. Um, successful traders have a trading journal for all the reasons described a little earlier, and successful traders follow a trading routine. And um, that's it. That's it on uh, today's topic here. Here, are the contact details from Admirals. Um, if you want to uh, reach out to Admirals, feel free to do so. Send an email. Um, again, if you watch this on, on YouTube, uh, you can certainly also send an email to Admirals and give feedback here on the web and on there, but also leave a thumb up here. If you have any questions um, here, especially topic related, please feel free to ask them right below the video and fully regulated broker. So please read the risk disclaimer carefully. Um, I hope you enjoyed the webinar. I hope you have a great week. Um, wish you all the best. Happy trading. Watch your stops. Talk to you again then next week. I really look forward to it. All the best. See you. Bye-bye.